Now to some corporate results in commodities. In the midst of announcing second quarter earnings, Algonquin Power also reported a C-suite change. Canadian shares slipped by as much as 4.5%. So joining us now to discuss this is Stephanie Hughes. She's the equities reporter at Bloomberg. Welcome to the show, Stephanie. You know, let's start with, you know, a quick rundown of exactly what's going on at Algonquin today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tara. And uh, just to start off with those shares falling, it reversed some of the losses in the afternoon, but the only way to describe this quarter is really it was a noisy quarter. There was a lot of moving parts. Uh, and it's one of those quarters where the earnings kind of took a back seat to some of the major developments here. So including the C-suite change and the renewable segment sale that uh, you mentioned off the top there. So to bring viewers up to speed, Arun Benscada, the CEO, will step down effective immediately and will be replaced by Christopher Huskelson, as the inter as interim CEO, and uh, this will be the case until they find a more permanent replacement. Not only that, but Algonquin announced that it would be moving ahead on selling its renewable energy group uh, after it announced that it was conducting a strate strategic review back in May. So a lot of things to keep us on our toes this earnings season, Tara. <laughs> Definitely. What do we know about Christopher Huckelson, the interim CEO? Well, he's been described as an energy industry veteran. He's been in the industry for over 20 years. And uh, some viewers may, sorry, he's also a, the, uh, one of the board members on Algonquin. Uh, viewers may remember him when he was the CEO of Amera, the electric and natural gas company. And he's been there for over a decade before leaving the post in 2018. He did share some remarks on the conference call this morning as his uh, interim, uh, sorry, his debut interim uh, uh, kind of, uh, coming out there, uh, and he was saying that uh, he'd oversee a smooth transition in the sale of the renewable segment and focus more on the regulated utility segment there. Okay, Stephanie, not a lot of time, but how are analysts uh, regarding all of this? Yeah, it's been a range of between neutral to positive, so I'll just jump right into it. So uh, Scotiabank analysts said that this uh, would provide more clarity on the forward guidance for the company and may get some investors more engaged with the company here. National Bank analyst Rupert Mayer said that uh, these renewable segments could actually fetch a price of between 2.5 to $3 billion, but he flagged that the challenging merger and acquisition background and rising financing costs may keep some buyers on the sidelines here. Mm. All right. Well, thanks so much for your perspective today, Stephanie. That was Stephanie Hughes, equities reporter.